you are learning Power BI, then this is the series for you. Start from video one to learn all the basic concepts of Power BI. This particular series had more than 150 plus videos to teach you each and every concepts around DEX, around Power Query, so that you can enhance your skills in Power BI. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series and in today's video we will learn how can we create table from a list. So let's uh, look at the definition first of table.list on the documentation Microsoft Power BI documentation we are looking at. So table from list is the function which we try to use and this function takes the first argument as list, second argument is optional splitter third argument is optional column here in the column we can give a type table where we will also be able to give the data types and then we have optional uh, default and optional extra values as nullable number fine so these are the things and then there are few example given so this is the first example from list uh, in the uh, we have been given a text list and then uh, there is no splitter and then the column name has been given this is the one way then uh, this is kind of the output which is going to give we will, we will go to show you what kind of output you are going to get and then this is another example which is given from the list of records so this is a record and then there are multiple list of records and then uh, you know the type uh, splitter is record dot field values and the name and the name can name are given here you can also mention along with the name data types so we will uh, check that out how to do that so now let's jump on to the power bi so on Power BI, let's open Power Query first. So the option is under the home tab, transform data, transform data, and we will reach Power Query. Now let me create a blank query first of all. So uh, that's where we are going to do our operations. So I go to uh, new source, new source, and I create a blank query. And then I right click on this or advanced editor, or there is an advanced editor under the home tab, which we can also use. I simply go ahead and create a list out here and I'm going to create a text list first one comma two comma three and let's say comma four also so this is a text list everything seems correct let's see okay we got a list now we don't want to want a list we want a table table from the list so let's go ahead and do that operation so we say table from list and right now let's keep the default argument don't give anything and you see this time around I am not getting a list I am getting a table here and you can see a column name now I have not given any column name that's why it's not coming so now this is the list which I have given I have not given any column name so if I want to give a column name I can leave the second argument which is splitter and third argument is the column name and I need a list here so I may name it as that's a name. So in the again another list I have given. So let's see we, we can give a null here. Okay. So we given the third argument as null, second argument as null and the third argument as name. So now the table name is name. Now let's try one more list. So let me call this as table list table one now let's go to the advanced editor and copy this code because i plan to do little bit more modification to this one only so i go to the new source blank query and i say edit advanced editor i copy paste that code now let me do one thing let me uh, see if i can uh, change the data type here so to change the data type we have something known as type table okay and then uh, let's give name equals to and text dot type and that table need to be record table not the list table so let's try it like this okay so type table name equals to list text dot type let's try this out so now we see only ABC here. If you remember here, we were saying ABC and one, two, three. 
now what i can do here is i can instead of this i can give int 64 int i capital int 64 and i see this is 1 2 3 but there is one um, thing here like instead of using this uh, not using this double quotes if i use this one then it is not going to work so then it's going to give error but i can convert the type but i can't use this kind of numbers so let's keep them the older one now this is my list table 2 now let me try one more so let me duplicate this time so duplicate will duplicate my code list table 3 what we'll do this time is let's see can i get uh two columns here so there is an interesting way here go to the advanced editor and let's start writing down comma a a comma b b comma c c and comma d d and what i'm going to do is right now i'm going to remove this these two things and let me cut this and let's see does it work so yeah in the double quotes let's try this out so you see now we are getting two columns so we got column one and column two now let's put back that code i cut it that's why I, the reason i cut it and let me give here name and in this let me give the uh, this let me call this one as id now id and then this one let me call as name equals to text dot type okay and let's see so we got id as one two three number and name as text dot type okay and if i click here I, I can also see the whole number data type here and if i click here i can see the text data type so i got these table this is tables which i'm getting with help from the list now there is another list which you can provide here that is list of records so we now need to create a table where we actually instead of list we will try to provide a list of records so first we need to learn how to create a record and then we need to provide a list of records so let's uh, create a new one new source blank query and let's rename this call it as list table rec1 record1 so we'll create a list table using records advanced editor now what is how can we create a record so record we can create like this and let's create a record and check it out first let's say id equals to one comma name equals to a b a b c in double quotes let me give that and let's see what what we get so we got a kind of a record okay now see and then we go to advanced editor and let me convert this into two records so list of records so we call id2 and we say def okay and we say okay so now we got two records now we need to convert this so we go to advanced editor and we say either I, let's let's do this time in the next row so enter and we call it underscore table let's say one is equal to list from table from list table from list and where is what is the list we have is source okay and what we need to return now table one let's see what happens so we are getting an error we cannot convert type record to text list okay so let's go to the advanced editor and check it out so let's give here so let's try that again let's create one more time blank query and let's call it list table rec2 we go to advanced editor and we put this and then let's say table from list 
table from list and this is a list of records and let's try splitter split by nothing comma null so we have to make this as a function and see these are two records then we can see the records and then you have to manually expand and that is the reason why instead of manually expanding we can write down a code which can you know expand the record itself by using the argument here in the third argument which is basically record we resplit the record so we say type record dot field value in the splitter so we don't have to do this step so we have to give something like this okay record dot values and then the column names or let's try simple record dot field values so this we change our splitter okay instead of this one we give so we got now correct one record dot field values is this something which is helping us to get that now third thing which we can give is the column name and the column name we can give as list so which is already which is not there now in the record see it's not taking the record one but we have given the record if you see in the record we already given id in this one okay so records dot field value it's not getting those names so let's give it here let's call them id and name So now we got ID and name. Okay. So this is how we get it from list of records. Now let's see, can we give a data type also with this? So can we make type table and we know that's going to be a record. So delete this. id equal to int 64 dot type and name equals to text dot type the third argument now we don't need this angular bracket we need square bracket so square bracket table let's try this out let's so we say we got something wrong here let's press make it equal to text dot type and type is t capital so see all these things can make your code to break wrong symbol capital small which is case sensitive all these mistakes if you done then it's not going to work okay so these are the ways you can create it from record so go ahead and try this out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.